Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bayt Stadium with its tent light structure. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Morocco versus Croatia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofian Boufal in the wide positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And they kick off here. Jeff Aguer. Aguer. And it's with Amrabat. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Roma Saiz. Ziyech. Well kept out. Who can they pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. Roma Saiz. Unahi. And it's with Amrabat. Azadine Unahi. And successfully cut out. Brozovic. It's with Pasalic. Creative look about this. Oh, surely! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And short it is. See about the cross and keeping it out. <laughs> 
but he's gone short with it. Kovacic couldn't keep it, and a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Let's fly here. Well, that's how to take a free kick, but no goal in the end. Well, he's such a threat from set plays, and you just saw why. That was such a good effort. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Brozovic. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Now sending it in. A strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Teammates available. Excellent vision. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Marco Nibaya. Mario Pasalic. Oh, he looks threatening. Kovacic. And the keeper more than equal to it. Luka Modric with the corner. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. An alert intervention. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Well, he's gone back and awarded the free kick because there really wasn't much of a tangible advantage. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Sofian Amrabat. Ziyech. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. What about the contribution of Luka Modric? Normally so busy and influential, should he be playing a bit better than he has been? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Roma Saiz. Ball's gone. Andrej takes aim. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target.
Nusser Mazraoui. Regained possession. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Fed over towards the back post. Well, he'd love to have that header back. In fairness, he was being closely watched. Unahi and Nesiri well far from the ideal pass Mario Pasalic excellent ball over the top absolutely spot on with that challenge and they're making a change Well, they no longer have the ball. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they keep it going? A real opening now. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. And teammates around him and now passing it through oh a tremendous block Ivan Perisic the ball with Luka Modric oh the threat is there well danger averted thanks to his teammates racing forward trying to catch them out do they have the guile to open up the defence? Superb block. Can he find the net? Well, flinging himself at it. Fancy a short one. Buffal. Masrawi with it. Sofian Amrabat. Unahi. And showing good defensive judgment. And really pressing their opponents. And that will be all for this game anyway. No goals to report, defences on top, and Stuart, as ever, interested to get your take. Well, Derek, I think it was a good tactical battle. There was a lot of endeavour, some good defending, but not enough attacking quality, and that's why we didn't get any goals. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha, here in Qatar. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. It's Belgium against Morocco. Well, Derek, they need something from this game. Yes, they're away from home, but they need to play on the front foot today. This is a vital match for...
The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's how Morocco will line up. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofiane Bouffal in the wide positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. Sofian Amrabat. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Lukaku. Azar on the ball. De Bruyne with options. But quick thinking defensively. And a free kick awarded by the referee. pass not finding its target and slipped through beautifully Carrasco Ziyech could cross it in here effort but just wide Ziyech offside the decision De Bruyne Romelu Lukaku now well, time just challenged magnificently Ziyech Sofian Amrabat Well, great read there to intercept quality defending Buffal chance to cross opportunity well fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper perfect tackle and the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened Useful play. 
And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, you tend to think Kevin De Bruyne dominates most matches, but he hasn't been dominant in this one, Stuart. Well, it's been one of those days for him. He hasn't had that much of the ball, and when he has, he's given it away. Without his creativity, I'm not sure they get a winner here. And a substitution in the offing. Yusuf and Nesiri. And on the ball, Sabiri. Must score! And keeping it out. In a short corner, let's see. A oh, tremendous vision. Determined defending. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. They've got it now, what can they do? Plenty of support here. Size. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the action underway again, and the onus is on Belgium to come up with a response now. And a strong tackle. Ziyech. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Is this the moment? And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. So a personnel change then. They couldn't maintain possession. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Zakaria Abuklal. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Just the challenge that was required. Given away again. Moving into the advanced position. Real chance. Couldn't grab hold of it. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And so into the final five minutes. Ziyech. Now, looking dangerous here. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. And he's keen on cutting in. And struggling to get the shot off. Ziyech. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So, with that, we 
can now say it's all over and the outcome they were hoping for certainly a victory and you can't argue with that Stuart well Derek they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game they defended well enough they dominated midfield and they created chances as well it was a great performance well there's a good reason why we're highlighting him really dominant in attack in this game Stuart yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today. Still, there is work to do if a knockout stage place is to be theirs. Will they do the job tonight? It's live next on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. It's Canada against Morocco. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Well, they only need a point to go through to the knockout stages, but they can't sit back and defend too deeply. They've got to come out and try and win the game. This should be interesting. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofian Boufal in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And two games in the books already for these two sides. This, their final group stage test. It's Canada against Morocco. Ziyech! And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game! Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. And teammates around him. And he might be through here. Will it turn out to be the 
two punch knockout. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Good pressure high up the pitch. Tries to lift it. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. is here number 17 Kyle Leary Aguer Sice with it Sofian Amrabat Mazrawi challenge and there is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute and the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game well, one player who had a lot to say for himself in the first half was Hakim Ziyech what did you make of what you saw from him? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Custody of the ball here. Chance to play it in. What a pass that lacks quality. minutes to go and the referee sees that as a foul free kick given well some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card but no booking on this occasion substitution time it is here Able to skip fast as man. Ziyech. But I think just lost his focus for a second. And a throw in conceded. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Still could be dangerous. Well, that save has kept him in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Well, not long to go, and given that they're winning, they know full well they have their ticket in hand for the knockout stages. Well, they've played well today, haven't they? It's been a tough group, but they've certainly delivered when it mattered most.
And the keeper not thinking it through. 15 minutes left for play. And Canada will get the throw. And time for the change now. Jonathan Osorio and given away a very effective challenge put in they get forward but time is very much against them here Really pressing their opponents. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Hakimi. And there goes the final whistle. A big three points for them here. And their place in the round of 16 is guaranteed. And I have to say, Derek, they deserve their win. I thought they were excellent today. And they can now go into that last 16 game full of confidence. Well, he is such a difficult player to contain, Hakim Ziyech. What did you make of what he put into the match? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.